Welcome back to TCGU. Uh, we got a deck profile here. This is uh, Kurama. I built it under life. And uh, let's check it out. All right, we got Kurama here. Uh, seven hander, 17 life or vitality, all life and water. It also does have life. Um, this is the reversal character. Uh, respond twice per turn. If you block with a reversal, you can play that reversal as an attack. Um, and then the other one is a response. Uh, check a 5 plus. After your reversal deals any amount of damage, uh, if you make the check, it'll, it will uh, not count towards progressive difficulty for the rest of the turn. Alright, like I said, I would build this under life. We'll go through the attacks first. I got four urban showers. Um, one of the reasons why I think life might be the one of the better choices to uh, for symbol for the deck is because it only has 17 vitality. So these uh, life attacks, like a lot of them have something to do with gaining vitality. Um, so this one is, if it's not blocked, then your opponent takes two and you gain two. Uh, it also has uh, just a really good uh, two high block, really good attack. We got three laser trident. This is one of the like bombs of the deck. Um, the only thing is it's a little tough with the six difficulty, but uh, it has a really good block in the one mid. Um, and then when you if you played it as a reversal, uh, your opponent puts the top card of their deck into their card pool face down, so it makes their turn harder. And then it'll get plus one speed for each card in your hand. So if you're playing it as a reversal, it probably won't get a lot of speed. But um, that's okay, because you kind of want them to block it to make it harder for them to have a turn. We got three Keiko Slap. Um, this card is just really sweet. It's got a uh, low block. Like the, the biggest thing, I think, with this character is having a good amount of blocks with your attacks. Are, are good variation, and I, I tried to make sure that happened. So, like, we have the high, the mid, and now a low. Um, and I think there's uh, three more attacks, and it's high, mid, and low. Um, and then if you play this on your opponent's turn, it doesn't count towards progressive difficulty. Um, sorry, ignores progressive difficulty. And then uh, if it deals damage, their next attack has plus three difficulty, and then you just give your next attack minus two difficulty. Uh, just a really good card. We have four Curse Plat. Uh, just uh, really good. It, it gains your vitality. That's, that's what you're looking for. It has the another the really good block. Um, and it makes blocking easier uh, during your opponent's turn. Uh, so it just does a bunch of st stuff you're looking for. For Precise Blow, uh, this card is super sweet because you seal your, it, when you block with it, you seal, seal your opponent's attack. Uh, it's a, also, it's a one mid block, a really good block, and then um, and it has a cool combo enhanced to gain damage and change uh, its zone. Um, mostly, this is just a really good defensive, uh, like, you need to s turn off what their attack does. And then finally, we have three rows whiplash. Uh, this has a really good two high block. Like none of none of our blocks have uh, three modifiers. Um, and then uh, this co this card is just really good. Uh, combo enhance it gets plus four, plus four, and you gain four. That's no matter what. And then if you it's your opponent's turn, you add a reversal to your hand. Um, the only bad part about this card is it it checks it too. But otherwise, it's just really good. We got a, a Swordfish. Two. Uh, this card is just mainly just... I can't like I can't deal with that attack. Get out of here. Um, currently in the deck, there's only one way to use momentum. And it's not even like a great way to use the momentum. Um, it... But mostly, like I said, it's just 
I can't deal with that attack. Which is which is totally fine and totally it's amazing at that. And then four revokes, um, which is I can't deal with that enhance. Good stuff. All right. And then last the foundations. Uh, we'll start at the upper difficulties, the threes. Uh, yeah, one survivalist, unique. Uh, this one's really good because. You know, you are, like I said, I have a good spread of the blocks and the attacks, but you're not always going to have the right block. So one, if, if their attack is just getting too crazy, you can, like, reset it. Uh, two of Sun's Love. Uh, this card is amazing. And uh, I might play some more if I, if I continue to work on this deck. Um, just because you are... You are relying on being able to reversal attacks. So actually the best part of this card is the your opponent's attack loses safe. Uh, or sorry, this attack loses safe. But I mean you're not gonna use it on your own, so um, that but and then that's playable while committed, so you can still use the first form to draw more cards. Uh, the only reason I didn't like at first play more of these is because like I didn't want to have like three or four of them in my staging area and I'd only be able to use one first form so but I think it's worth it for the for just to make sure you're able to reverse their attacks um, a Delta Blue leader Blue, Delta Blue team leader um, just a really good unique foundation uh, pesky damage on every attack in fact if I would have drawn this card I might have won a game Um, and then the last of his kind, uh, another great, unique foundation. Um, it's especially really helpful, like I said, because you're not always going to have the perfect block. So, um, New Shipmate. Uh, this card is really good at just gaining vitality uh, and reducing their, their attack's damage. Does exactly what you want from it. Uh, Put in a rhythmic fighting style. Um, it has breaker one, and then if you uh, some some decks have those attacks that you just don't like want them to get back at any, at for any reason, so you can you can remove it. Uh, my blood flows through you, so I I wanted to put this in because. Um, because sometimes, um, actually there's a foundation. There's a foundation that ensures that my attack will do at least one damage. And so sometimes if they're having like a turn that I don't think I can handle, uh, I'll use this and it commits their character a gain of vitality. And then most of this, like sometimes, sometimes to most of the time that'll turn off their turn, so. Two friends and rivals. Um, this card is super hype, and I kind of wish I played more of them. Um, so you block with your reversal, and then you play your reversal, and then you respond with these. Uh, so you commit them out on their turn. Uh, it's super sweet. Um, yeah, I, I definitely wish I would have played more of those. And this is the foundation I was talking about just a little bit ago, the Yoko Spirit. So it gives your dam uh, your attack plus three speed, and if it's completely blocked, it still deals one damage. Uh, this is important for Kur Kurama's uh, second response, um, and it can also work with the uh, my blood fl flows through you. Uh, we got two nightmare chairs. Uh, although you want to block everything with attacks, you just sometimes you can't. Sometimes you need a another way to block things, and this is what that, that that's there for. Uh, for passing the torch. So, like, my theory when I was building this is you're going to, like, build some in a turn, and then you're in your, in your turn with, like, two or three or four cards in your hand. And sometimes that's not enough attacks to block all of their attacks. So uh, more card draw to 
keep yourself from die just dying. Play four co uh, Keiko's aid. Um, this and friends and rivals, just one of each, is like a plus four to their next attack. And you're you're blocking everything, so this card is just always going to be live. So uh, it's just really good. Genkai's training. This is the only card in the deck that uses momentum. Uh, discard one momentum to ready this card. Playable while committed. Um, this is just in case. Uh, this is another way to guarantee that you block something. Um, yeah, just just guarantee that you block it. Portal barrier. Again, because sometimes you'll be half blocking things, uh, you can use this to reduce the damage. Um, so, yep, yeah, just stop. stop. I only have 17 life. Stop. Demon hide. Uh, don't gain keywords. Really good card. Spam. Map station. Uh, anti stun. And also really good, really good with the uh, Chris Platts. And really good spam. Four Orphaned Alchemists. Uh, guarantee checks and spam. Reborn Human. Uh, this is Gain Life. And spam. Uh, two devotion to justice. Uh, gain vitality and spam. And then syndicate target is just some more spam. All right, this was Kurama for the Dark Tournament Campus Championship. Uh, this was an interesting character. I had an incredibly tough matchup. Uh, against Biako. I, uh, in the second game, I'm, I hope you see it, uh, I did 37 at least damage in one turn. Unfortunately, 37 is not 38, which is what Biako's vitality is. Um, but the way that James built the Biako, he had a bunch of life, uh, vitality gain, and it was just too much for little old Kurama to take down. So, uh, Check out all the other matches, all the other deck profiles, and hit us. Uh, check out our Facebook or our Patreon, TCG University, for both of those. Otherwise, stay learned.